Indonesia is the fourth most populated country on the planet, and it is also the world's third largest rice-producing country. Most of that is grown on the island of Java, where Jakarta is. But I'm in South Sumatra on the Musi River Delta heading for the Banya Sen district. Turns out Banya means water, and a sen means salty. And therein lies the rub for area rice farmers. In Delta, the farmer have the many problem. The first, they have problem in the salt uh, problem, and the second, they have uh, flooding, and then problem in dryer. The last one, problem in the main power. Yeah. So the farmer need the helping to the new technology to solve the problem. Other than planting salt and flood-tolerant rice varieties, another technology that has helped these farmers considerably has been locally produced flatbed rice dryers that use discarded rice husk for fuel. Around here, the sun can be fickle, the rains torrential. So traditional sun drying can be a gamble, a gamble that many of these farmers can't afford. And then quality of the uh, of the paddy up uh, when 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 dry with the tarpaulin or the sun drying is just not uh, good, many broken. Better rice quality has translated into better revenue. One study shows market prices jumping four to seven percent with the flatbed dryer. So it is not surprising they are becoming more popular. This local workshop owned by Joko Santosa has received 40 orders in 2014 alone. Budi Raharjo says that trend is reflected across Sumatra. In 2004, we have only one flatbed dryer in South Sumatra using has energy. And then in 2008, we have the 70 uh, unit uh, bulk dryer. And then after six years, in 2013, we have the four, more 478 unit. We have the seven pole number of the bulk dryer. So what is really exciting about the flatbed dryers in South Sumatra is that uh, they demonstrate how IRI can help add value to national programs by uh, helping facilitate uh, technology transfer and knowledge transfer across countries. Uh, these dryers are the result of bringing together an amazing uh, number of people from different uh, sectors and institutions, Indonesian rice scientists, scientists from Vietnam contributing some technology uh, components, development projects and extension uh, officers, and then also some students doing their, their studies on the topic. Uh, these flatbed dryers demonstrate how through an adapted technology that can be produced locally, uh, we can provide technologies that can help farmers to maintain the quality, reduce the post-harvest losses, and that way uh, generate higher income from their rice farms and uh, provide a, a better livelihood for them and their families. The emerging success of the rice husk-fueled flatbed dryer in Sumatra underscores two lessons that scientists at Erie and elsewhere consider crucial. First, technology adapted to local conditions and constraints is more likely to be successful. And secondly, this success will be more sustainable if it encourages local capacity building and collaboration. And this is exactly what has happened with rice drying in Sumatra.